Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today I'm going to be refining quite a bit of gold jewelry. I guess I got tired of refining tiny little bits of gold. Basically over this last uh, probably six months or so I've been kind of sniping uh, eBay auctions uh, for good deals on uh, used scrap gold jewelry and I've been uh, buying it up. I think I've got at least ten thousand dollars worth of gold jewelry here so yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I have a little card here which I've written down uh, all the weights and everything for my stock that I currently have. Uh, it looks like I've got about 11.73 uh, ounce troy of uh, gold uh, currently on this table. So that's pretty good. So this is the 18 carat, a little piece of 12 carat, got a whole bowl of 14 carat stuff, a bunch of 10 carat gold rings. And of course the uh, little bits of gold that I've uh, been refining uh, throughout my YouTube career. I've got roughly two troy ounces here. So this is the stuff I used in my uh, bullet video. That's what I hammered out in my uh, silver play button video. And these other things uh, here. Uh, this, this came with some of the other stuff that I bought on eBay. Uh, these little tiny beads are things that I've refined. You know, the little itty bitty things. And I got a couple of uh, one gram gold bars that Abe sent me, so I guess I'll throw those into the mix. I think I'm actually going to refine these separately because as they are, they'll dissolve in the acid right now, right? Uh, uh, this stuff over here I will have to uh, treat differently. Anything between 6 and 18 carat is insoluble in either nitric or aquariga. So in order to remove the silver, I'm going to have to add more. I put out a video explaining this earlier today. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go watch it. And so to hit two birds with one stone, I've got a bunch of uh, sterling silver here. I'm going to use this for the inquartation. Uh, this is about 90% silver, the rest being copper. But I'll mix that with the gold and that'll make it much easier to dissolve. My little card here, I figured, yeah. Uh, I need 700 grams of silver or copper to encourt the uh, jewelry that I've got right there. And I think I've got about a kilogram of silver stuff, so I think I've got plenty to do it. So let's get one last good look at all the jewelry I'm about to destroy. Alright. Here goes. Oh wow, <laughs> it barely fit, and it goes. All right, well that's melting. Let's uh, go get this dissolving. To dissolve this amount of gold, I'm gonna need roughly a hundred milliliters of hydrochloric acid, which I'll throw in now. There should be little to no reaction. Now to this, to get the gold to dissolve, I'm gonna have to use a strong oxidizer. For that, I'll use nitric acid. I'm just going to add it in a little at a time so that it doesn't get all consumed with uh, side reactions. We should need around 30 milliliters of this for this quantity of gold. So what's happening here is the nitric acid is oxidizing the gold because it's such a strong oxidizer it's able to do that. And the uh, hydrochloric acid which is all over in the solution, you know, the chlorine ions, they attack the oxidized gold forming a chlorooric acid and that uh, carries it away so that uh, more nitric acid can react with the fresh gold. Uh, you can actually see that the gold has been etched. See the crystal boundaries are now visible as the metal is being removed. You got this uh, little bead over here which has turned dark. Uh, this is the, the bead that came out of the mercury. I think what actually happened there is I used an old crucible and it must have had a little bit of silver or something in it. Uh, it looks like it is dissolving, just more slowly. Oh my, wow, look at that. So this bullet's been dissolving in the acid for uh, a little over an hour now. You can see those huge crystals getting exposed. So I've weighed out the 700 grams required. Let's open this back up. Looks like our gold's melted. You can see it down in there. A little bit of dross. 
uh, certainly a much uh, smaller volume. Let's uh, start putting in the silver. Here goes a silver spoon. <laughs> Goodbye, spoon. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Let's poke it down with another one. See, I, I peeled open this little heart thing to make sure there wasn't anything in there, like moisture or oil. So let's throw it in so it was clear. That's the last of it. Let's stir in just a couple of extra spoons just to make sure I've got enough. Give it a little stir while I do it. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's let that come up to temperature again and we'll pour it out. I'm gonna be pouring it into this uh, bucket of cold water. That way it uh, breaks up into little tiny pieces to make it faster to dissolve in the acid. All right, here goes. Okay, so here's the material all turned to shot. You can see when it hit the water, it kind of splattered. And increased the surface area so the acid can get at it more quickly. As you can see, I've got the silver and gold alloy spread out inside of this uh, large jar. That's to uh, help uh, minimize losses due to frothing or whatever. And I have here some uh, red fuming nitric acid. This is what I'll be using to dissolve the silver. The gold should be left behind. So I'm going to dilute the acid with a little bit of uh, distilled water, right there. This is to help uh, dissolve the silver nitrate better, and also slow down the reaction rate. You actually don't want the reaction to going uh, very fast. You can also see I'm adding the acid in small increments. So here we go, add the acid. Uh, it's uh, pretty cold out here, as evidenced by the snowing, but uh, I've got it on this uh, hot plate, so it should warm up a little bit, and the reaction will proceed at a more appreciable rate. Now we got a reaction going. See if I tip this over a little bit, you can see the uh, metal has turned a brownish color as the gold particles are forming on the surface. Those are insoluble. Uh, the gas that's coming off this uh, should be uh, nitrogen dioxide, uh, otherwise known as red death, hence uh, why I'm doing this outside. A little bit is okay, but a lot can kill you because it forms nitric acid when it reacts with water. Uh, which is why you want uh, lots of good ventilation when you're working with this. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that the uh, gas that's coming off of this isn't actually red. It usually is, but since it's so cold out here right now, uh, the uh, nitrogen dioxide is uh, formed into uh, nitrogen tetroxide, which is clear. And it's still just as toxic though. I'm just gonna have to keep it warm with a pot of water. Looks like it needs another shot of acid. I'm running a bit low on nitric acid, so I decided to make some more. You can see I've got some nitric acid dripping down into that flask. Over here I have a solution containing uh, potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid. And you see the nitric acid is boiling out. It's condensing on this condenser here. This is how I've been making most of my acid recently, by the way. So here's our 24 karat gold. As you can see, the uh, bullet is still mostly there. I guess uh, nobody should be surprised by that. You know, it's so thick it would take forever to dissolve. You can see that there's some uh, either silver or lead uh, sitting on the bottom of the beaker. So there was some contamination there. So anyway, let's... Uh, pour off this liquid and recover the gold from it. So I'm just going to carefully pour this liquid off. 
uh, being careful not to get any of that silver in there. Now I'll just rinse this with some distilled water. So to recover more of it. Let that settle out for a minute. To reduce the gold back to a metallic state, I'm just going to add some uh, sodium metabisulfate. And uh, that, should that should precipitate some gold. Uh, looks like it is working. You can see that uh, dark color of the gold forming. And let's uh, slowly add this here. Uh, the sodium metabisulfate actually forms uh, sulfur dioxide when it reacts with the hydrochloric acid. It's actually that sulfur dioxide that uh, pulls the gold out of solution. Here's something I haven't been able to show before. You can actually see the detail of the top of the liquid. Uh, some of the gold is uh, forming at the surface and you can see it actually has the metallic color. Oh, that's lovely. Here's what the beaker looks like side on. You can see the gold particles are slowly settling to the bottom. See some that has already settled out there. And here we are a few minutes later. You can see that the solution is just about clear. Everything's settled down on the bottom. That's our gold sponge. So you can see the solution is still colored and the gold powder is reacting, forming bubbles, and the solution above it is getting darker. That's telling me that there is a little bit of nitric acid left, which is redissolving the gold. So to fix this problem, I'm going to uh, add a little bit of a diesel exhaust fluid. Now that should neutralize the nitric acid. Okay. Give that a bit of a stir. Now I can add more sodium metabisulfate, and it should precipitate out the rest of the gold. See, that settled out much better this time. Looks like all the silver's dissolved, finally. That took all night to do that. And now, I'll just wash the silver out. Uh, add some hydrochloric and nitric acid, just like I did with the uh, solid pieces of gold, and dissolve it. And any remaining silver, like if there was any trap between some gold particles, will remain behind. Mainly the difference between this and that is this uh, gold is already very fine, and so the dissolution will take hours and not days. So here's the gold powder from the jewelry. I just got through drying it out in the furnace. Here's the gold from the uh, 24 karat pieces that I dissolved. Let's add that in there as well. And while I'm at it, I may as well melt down this uh, rest of this bullet. The furnace is up to temperature. Let's open it up. Looks like the gold's liquid. Let's pour it into that graphite mold. Looks like it's just about cooled down to cold enough that I can work with it. Pop it out of the mold, no problems there. Look at that. Let me uh, dunk it in some water and we'll go weigh it. Look at that, I got a little bit of sunlight to work with. So here's my bar, set on the scale. Focus the camera, so 345 grams of gold, my goodness. That's definitely the biggest chunk of gold I've ever had in my possession. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I was expecting to get 11.73 ounce Troy. Let's figure out what I actually got. So I should have gotten 364.8 grams. And I got 344. All right, future Cody here. So I thought that number was a bit low. So I actually just gotten through and uh, recovered all the little bits of gold that were left out of the uh, main bar. Uh, there were some uh, bits that were left in the crucible, uh, some gold that hadn't dissolved completely in the nitric acid, you know, the, the carrot was too high, you know, uh, the uh, liquid that I poured off, the, the silver nitrate and copper, uh, that uh, would carry over gold particles, and that's actually was a substantial amount there. And there was also a little piece of the silver uh, gold alloy that I 
I took out to show Canyon because it was an interesting shape and I forgot to put it back in. So I've got all that reprocessed and uh, here's the gold that I was able to recover. Looks like I got an additional 12.69 grams. So that brings my total to 357 grams of gold that I recovered in this video. Uh, that still is about 7 grams less than I was expecting, but that is a discrepancy that is probably about what you'd expect. Uh, the uh, carat value of the jewelry is not 100% accurate, and also there was a few gemstones which, you know... So given the current price of gold, that's like $15,000 worth. <laughs> that's crazy. If you guys are curious how much I actually spent on the jewelry and how much uh, profit I made, I've got a spreadsheet set up over on my Patreon. Uh, link, of course, is down in the description. I'd like to refine it once again before I'd uh, guarantee any sort of purity. It's probably at least 99% though. <laughs> Alright, so I promised the uh, water jet cutting guys that I'd let them cut a gold bar. So I'll take that down to them. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can uh, go over and watch this being cut with a 60,000 PSI water jet. So, hope to see you over there. Yeah.